I mean, look at the enthusiasm which, that he goes up the steps with. <laughs> the kid at the blue corner is fun to watch, but I tell you what, it is all business over there in the red corner. You're talking about a gentleman in Ibrahim that is not going to be distracted or dissuaded by any of what is going on in that blue corner. And, and, we, ha and we have the right ref. <laughs> we have the right official in the ring for the contest as well. As we see, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Already the boxers can't wait to get it going and here we are in the center of the ring ladies and gentlemen Ibrahim in red from Sweden Oliveira in blue from Brazil both Olympians Oliveira stepping forward trying to touch Ibrahim to the body with the left hand Ibrahim big swings and misses as Oliveira backs away Oliveira, see what, it takes a lot of confidence to have your back that close to the ropes and your hands down. As you see, Oliveira will do quite often as he's doing right now, trying to entice Ibrahim into a mistake. He reaches out and touches Ibrahim with his left hand. Now Ibrahim aggressively comes forward. Tied up on the ropes just briefly. Ibrahim missing wildly with that right hand. Left hand touches the chin of Oliveira. Now Ibrahim trying to go to the body. Their heads come together in that clinch. Watch the head, says referee Brent. Looping right hand over the top for Oliveira. See the head movement of Ibrahim. And the takedown. I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it took a little bit longer for that to happen than I thought. There was a lot of pre-bout movement before the first bell. The official inside the ring. We're gonna get we're gonna get our money's worth on that one. A little bit of a dosey do. No harm, no foul. We'll get back to it. Now Oliveira with the guard up. Well, momentarily. Now back down. You see the tongue of Oliveira as well, doing his best to attempt to antagonize Ibrahim. Left hook to the body by Oliveira as Ibrahim comes forward. And this is what Oliveira wants. He wants Ibrahim aggressive. He wants him coming forward. He wants him off of his game plan. He wants him to make a mistake. Ten seconds, ladies and gentlemen. That sound takes us to the end of the round. I tell you, they burned a lot of calories in that round, ladies and gentlemen. I should move so much in a day as those two did in those three minutes. As you see the towel in that blue corner, 10-9, pitching a shutout in that first round. You guessed it, Luis Oliveira from Brazil boxing out of the blue corner, in the red corner. Nabil Ibrahim from Sweden. Work to be done. You see the conversations. Very different. You see Oliveira not even using the stool. Not even in the corner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when was the last time you saw a conversation with a, with a boxer and his coach <laughs> take place with a boxer that far from the corner between rounds? And now a bit of a shuffle before the bell. And Oliveira is back to it. You know, what 
all the extra things that he may be doing at the end of the day, this is a young man that is qualified for the Olympics, and that doesn't happen accidentally. And with all the things that he's doing, let's not, let's not get lost you know, in any of that. You see that check hook with the left hand as Ibrahim's coming forward. And that's, and that's the mystery, right? That's the game with Luis Oliveira. You know, it's like, a, it's like a, a magic show. He wants you to look at his right hand so that you don't see the left one coming. And that's what all of these things are that he is doing inside the ring. It's an attempt at distracting Ibrahim from the real issue. And that's the fact that he's in there with a very accomplished amateur boxer. Oliveira steps forward, landing the left hook on the way by. Oliveira almost breaking out in a samba. I wish I knew what song was playing in his head. Ibrahim, left hand by Oliveira. with his back against the ropes for just a moment. Ibrahim missing with a big right hand over the top. <laughs> Oliveira, hands down. Chin out. Don't be fooled by it. <laughs> Oliveira. <laughs> Keep your head up, says the official. Oliveira. Reaching towards the body with the right hand. You see, turning his head as he gets away from that counter right of Ibrahim. Good job by Oliveira there. Ten seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Big misses by both boxers. End of round number two, ladies and gentlemen. And doesn't it seem like Luis Oliveira is having a great time in there? Again, taking his time, getting back to the corner, not using the stool. I apologize, he is using the stool. He's using it for his, for his feet, it's a footstool. I mean, clearly your coaches want you to use the stool, that's why they put it in there. <laughs> Luis Oliveira not using the stool, not needing it at the moment, 10-9 on four of the five cards, 10-8 on the fifth. Judges at ringside are starting to put together numbers that look like he is dominating Nabil Ibrahim. What is the conversation like in that red corner as you see Ibrahim on the stool? Still with a lot of bounce in that red corner, you see Ibrahim. Now back to it, the touch of gloves before we get going here in the third round. You love the sportsmanship, but now it's back to it. Two Olympians, ladies and gentlemen, individuals that you will see in Paris. Oliviera, just a style, a nightmare for Ibrahim. And maybe for everybody for that matter. Left hand by Oliveira hits the forearm of Ibrahim. Ibrahim misses the right hand counter in return. Pawing with the jab is Ibrahim. The feet get tangled up. Ibrahim finds himself on the mat briefly. No harm, no foul. 
Luis leaning to his left and firing the uppercut with the left hand, trying to get it through the guard of Ibrahim, does so again. Good hook to the body and then follows it up with a hook upstairs, both with the left hand by Oliveira. And again, pay attention to the other things if you like. <laughs> Oliveira, it's like swinging at the same pitch twice. He throws the left hand, it doesn't reach. He just leaves it out there and stretches it a little, a little farther. Touches Ibrahim with it. Ibrahim with an opportunity to work against the ropes. Oliveira goes to the body of Ibrahim. Ibrahim backs away. Now back against the ropes is Oliveira. If you're Ibrahim, I don't know if there's a better opportunity than what you have when he's against the ropes, when Oliveira's against the ropes. Good hook inside, semi uppercut with the right hand by Oliveira in that previous exchange. Now he touches the body of Ibrahim with the left hand. Good left hand by Ibrahim in that exchange. Ibrahim touches Oliveira with the left hand again. Now misses over the top with it. Going back to the body is Oliveira with the left hand. Two punches later, a right hook upstairs by Oliveira. Ten seconds to the end of this contest, and I think we know where it's going, ladies and gentlemen. End of the bout. And when the judges at ringside make it official, it will be Luis Oliveira. Moving on to the finals on tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, here at the World Boxing Cup. I am David Austin. We are here in Pueblo, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, at the Convention Center for day four of USA Boxing's International Invitational for the World Boxing Cup. In the ring, ladies and gentlemen, to 2024. Paris Olympians. Let's go to Ryan Nico for the word. And it's official. Luis Oliveira gets the victory, ladies and gentlemen. He will move on to tomorrow's finals. A game to build Ibrahim in there, as you see. That third round, 10-9 on 